So we have received a new message, have we? Well, let's check it out. Combat Sim. That's Jack. So we can go play the Armax Arena with Jack. Shore leave activities. As part of my education, meet at the new apartment. Okay, so we can call Edie up here. Memorial service. Okay, Koliat wants to bum us out with a memorial service for Thane. What the hell? Liara, she wants to come up to the apartment. Housewarming Tally, she wants to come to the apartment as well. All right, let's invite, oh look. There's our Volus plushie. That's creepy as hell, by the way. Um, that we won, I guess. That was that purple prize. Glyph. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip. First. Yeah, but I don't know where, dude. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Yeah, you said that before. You said it last time. Well, let me invite some more people up, I guess. Look, we're going to get this bummer of a memorial out, out of the way and then move on and have a little bit of fun here and there. Yes, let's depress everybody, Koyat. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's depress everybody by reminding them about how ridiculously Thane died and what a horrible sequence it was in the game. To honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The uh -huh. counselor knew him as a hero. Right. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. Yeah. And others as a father devoted to his son. The writers of Mass Effect 3 knew him as a throwaway space ninja. Redeemed himself? No, I didn't redeem himself at all. There's an old human saying. Whoever saves one life saves the world in time. Uh-huh. It's not about a planet. But the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life, or I saved his. When By the way, like, make a four relay. I don't know. It'll happen pretty fast. What I, I said didn't have any relation to the anyway. text that was written down in that dialogue option. You will never forget. He set an example. No, his death was a joke. We cannot thank Thane. His death was awful. Of us who have more time in this life That's an example of how not to have a character we death. We remember how he lived. We do that. Is not truly gone. Would anyone else like to speak? No, all of you shut up. Let's get it over with. What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything. Even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. Oh god, I gotta listen to all of this now. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. Why? We he was an assassin, what are you talking about? Fights. That makes him a partner. But he was also an assassin. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. No, that's These because he was dying. do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Uh-huh. Thane took himself seriously. A trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was what are you talking about? Life around. In a way, few organics do. What? The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him. No, Edie, you're just bad at making jokes. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Uh huh. Colyat, do you. Uh... Can you just end it, please? Ah, uh, enough with the dramatic pauses. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. Uh-huh. But when he prevented me from from hurting someone, he had changed. 
He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. All right, are we done now? That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Very good. And you know you will not. Get out of my apartment. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Get out of my apartment. Thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. No, I'll forget it pretty quickly. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to yes, speak with the counselor. Yes, go. Go elsewhere. But what? I don't care. Just he go. He's feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. Just do it and leave. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I was I was saying before how ridiculous it is that this uh, easily treatable disease caused by ridiculously simple and avoidable per reasons. My odds are good. Like capital syndrome happens because like it's too humid. I was organizing my father's possessions on the Hanar planet. I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. All you have to do is just turn on the air conditioning and dehumidify the air. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Dude, they cured Commander Shepard of death. I'm sure they can cure people of a respiratory ailment. Uh, check messages? Nah. Later, maybe. I'm not going to listen to those messages. Enough with the bummers. Let's get somebody else up here. Tally. What do you want to talk about? Got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Excuse me? You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I do not. I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? There was that uh, one Turian on Ilium who was trying to talk up or chat up a, uh, a Quarian lady. Talking about fleet and flotilla. Much lie. We can never be together. I have my duty. And you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight. No, they even animated it. They didn't just record the voiceover. I love that you love this, or this is ridiculous. No, we're not gonna... Yeah, it's fine. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover... Kila, so many feelings. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah. Definitely, it's Definitely. something. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. That sounds exciting. Take it off and get sick. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Oh my god. All right, well, that's over. I assume had we been in a romance with Tally, that would have been uh, a different way to go. There would have been more of that scene. Who else have we got here? Liara, come on up. That's a giant sink, isn't it? Ah, she can play the piano. What a talented individual. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. It was never established at any earlier point in the series. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Excuse me? 
How many times did I bail your ass out of a fire? <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. It's a nice way to pass the time, I suppose. Thank you, Shepard. Well, let's hear it. The person who taught me that song was a friend. Mm -hmm. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Right. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. Or by being trapped in a sandstorm. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? Mm -hmm. Wow, that was really direct from Shepard. <laughs> I'm your best friend. What have you learned from me? Hey, Tell me. Reaffirm my ego. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Let's hear it. It's the Mass Effect theme song, isn't it? Or it's some song from the Mass Effect soundtrack. Let's hear it, Glyph. Dude, did the keys change? I don't think they were blue in the cutscene, were they? When we were talking to Liara. What a coincidence that that one song that Liara learned was the Mass Effect theme song, or a Mass Effect song from the soundtrack. This place is nice. So that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. You just hang out right here, babe. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Liara. Let's invite uh, Edie to this party. Oh, Edie. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Sure thing. Shopping. I have lots of money. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. How efficient. He has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? Hmm. I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime. I'm a specter. I can help you out, I'm sure, in some way. We'll get you your own funds. Someday. Yeah, that's right. But today, what's first? I believe Who's going to stop me? surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Mm -hmm. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 750,000 credits. The most powerful sports sky car in its class. I don't think even I have that much money. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty. Replacement parts. Hang no, on wait. a second. I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. That's right. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend. Seven hundred and fifty thousand yes. credits. You are. You know how many people I had to kill to get the credits that I have? I probably have like four hundred thousand or something. Uh, excuse uh, me. Are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Mm -hmm. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. 
here's the thing. Like, this guy is war profiteering. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? Yes, I hold it's high value right. in you. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers... Nitrogen vacancy centers. That's what I was thinking about. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Get her a keyboard. Oh, she's gone. Uh, so I guess that, uh, that was all the people that I could invite up. So who? somebody was out there waiting for me. I can't remember who it was. Let's head back out to the, to the strip. The Silver Sun Strip? Is that what it's called? Let's head back out there. There it is. That's my objective marker. It's whatever it is, it's on the second floor. And it's somewhere here-ish. So let's get up to the second level right away. Uh, I guess it's in the arcade, huh? It looks like it's in the arcade. Is it in the arcade? I don't know. Yes, yes, hello. Yeah, you guys are telling your jokes about multiplayer. And it was kind of here somewhere? I feel like it was here. I saw it somewhere like... I don't know, man. It was definitely on this level, right? It was on the upper level, not at the lower level. Hey you, where can I buy some party supplies? Okay, I don't see anything to to buy up here. Is it here? Where where can I buy this thing? Hmm. Dude, I have no idea where this stuff is. Towers of Hanoi? Towers of Hanoi. I don't think so. We already played that game in Mass Effect 1. Dude, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go to buy this thing. Where am I supposed to go buy these party supplies? I swear I felt like it was up here. Like somewhere over there. But I don't see anything up there. Ryusei or Su Ryusei. That's the um, now defunct sushi place that we destroyed. Well, I didn't destroy it. Those mercenary dudes did. Can I buy the party supplies here somewhere? Is this a different waterfall than the other one? Yep, it's the same. Uh, it's the same dialogue. Dude, are there party supplies up here? Wait, wait for whom? Oh, here they are! Holy moly! We got the party supplies, kids. Well done. Who am I waiting for over here? Wait for Joker. Sure, why not? Let's meet up with Joker. Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. Mm. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. Oh, yeah? What were you doing? 
You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council. This is our chance! I mean, this is a docking bay. Cerberus! Who else did you expect? Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's an Atlas mech. Too bad these Cerberus guys got overconfident and just left it unmanned over there. Yes. It's joking time. Wow, a rapid fire rocket launcher. Dude, where can I get that Atlas mech? It seems really effective. Ooh, ouch. Damn, dude. Boom. That's right. You just landed on the island of Dr. Me. What? Oh, Dr. Moreau. Get it? His name is Jeff Moreau. And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drink. Ah, now the true story emerges. No. Oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! Mm, I've done this before. Let's try this. <laughs> Joker, you are a great pilot. And a terrible liar. <laughs> you don't say. You know, there's a bond, Shepard. A wordless bond of loyalty between commander and pilot. And today... Today, you pay for your own drinks. I'll buy you a drink, dude. <laughs> Fine. I know what your salary is. You can afford this shit. I have to say, that was pretty unsatisfying. Um, plus five, Renegade. Dance? You know it. Dancing like a renegade. I'm apparently a renegade now. Alright, let's get out of here. Who else shall I meet up with? Anyone here? I don't see anything. What's this? Suspicious device. Excuse me. Send oh look! Hit the calm. Tiana, it's Kasumi. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You're here to pull off a heist and you talking about it quite openly. After entering the Birch, casino through this main entrance. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Very stealthy. Very I stealthy. I seem to have the wrong casino. Hang on a minute, you. Do you just walk in through the main take entrance and reveal your entire plan, in full view of all the cameras? I thought you were working on the Crucible. You know, saving the galaxy. I mean, I'm just out here on vacation. You should be at work. Which you spend robbing casinos. People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those You're also Robin Hood, are you? And it's not like the only yeah, everybody's a winner. So you're robbing the rich. Also, the owner is dead, so you're not really you're robbing the owner's estate, I guess. Spaces and infiltrating Reaper held locations is fun, but I'm a thief. Stealing, it's who I am. Without it, I. By the way, are you gonna call security? Um, just sleep quiet. If I have to. You always were good to me. Take care of yourself out there, Shepard. Very good. Does that also make me a renegade? I don't know. All right. Let's see if I can if I go back to my uh, apartment, I can get the rest of these um, teammate encounters out of the way. Yes, I know that's where we met, but come on. Oh yeah, Jack wanted to meet me, right? Over here at the arena. This is going to be great. 
Let's see what Jack wanted. Where am I supposed to meet Jack? Over here? There's no way you can beat me, dude. I'm too good. Too good. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Okay. I assume we're gonna fight Cerberus, right? For sure. All right, Jack. What can we do here? Warp ammo. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. Uh, warp itself. Uh, we're not going to be comboing much. I mean, may as well. It doesn't make a difference. What? What? No, I wasn't done. God damn it. I mean, it doesn't matter, but also I wasn't done. What the hell? Here. Let me finish leveling up here, if you don't mind. Uh, wow, that's actually pretty good. You know what? We'll take the recharge speed. Power force and duration. Weapon damage. Uh, recharge speed bonus. Ooh, another recharge speed bonus. Very nice. And I guess we'll put the rest in the shockwave. Not that it matters much, but whatever. Not that any of it really matters much. Very good. This won't last long anyway. Let me get my flame on. I also... She has terrible weapons. Dude, look at this. Yeah, sure. Use the pistol. I mean, I suppose you can use your signature shotgun, but... Yeah, what do we got here? All right, Jack has the uh, recharge time, so let's get her recharges going. Anyone else? Dude, I can barely see it because of all of this orange stuff in the background, all the fire. Here, float these dudes. Damn it. I overloaded, dude. All right, let's get this bonus. Five, four, three, two, what level is this? I don't know if I've played this level. I mean, Jack has really completely surplused the requirements. I mean, her presence here and all that time I spent leveling up is really irrelevant. Hey, no grenades. Who said you could throw a grenade at me? You dick. You're Jack, uh, I don't know, do this. Anybody else? Oh, hello. How's it going, dude? Was that it? Into the cutscene. I guess this is a pinata in this joke. Uh huh. Uh, yes. I do love the simplicity. The adrenaline rush. There's not much adrenaline here. It's not quite the same in this thing with the safety on. I like how the Atlas started to blow up before the uh, shockwave reached it. You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. It's a big, deep, boom. Boom. Everything's going to be okay. Great job with the voice acting. Wouldn't have missed it. Another scene that had we been in a Jack romance would have gone differently. Instead, it's just a Jack friendship. You know, I could have probably set up Jack before that. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I could have. 
Oh well. All good.